I believe we got some people coming in here. Feel free to say hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, there are people there somewhere. I just know they are. Here's Darcy. <laughs> I got Sally. Hi. Do I have two Sallys there? I, have Sally, no? I hope not. <laughs> there better not be two Sallys on this planet. There's Sally right there. Okay. All right. Look, um, all of you have volunteered to do this with me because you're awesome. Uh, Darcy just playing with our brain right now. Darcy, you're just messing with us, huh? <laughs> uh, okay. So we got Darcy, we have Leon, we have Sally, and we have Amber. Now, all of you have volunteered uh, to be my guest in the past. Uh, and you have uh, now moved over to our new home, which is uh, YouTube, uh, so that we could talk about narcissism, relationships, and so forth. Um, let's do this. Sally, yes. you're my co-host for the day. Leon is our special guest. And Amber and Darcy are, well, the two emotional terminators who will carry uh, everything else uh, in the conversation. So, Sally, introduce yourself. So uh, if you ladies don't mind, join me. And uh, of course, the dog can do the same with his paws. <laughs> let's uh, let's give a love clap uh, for Dr. Robin uh, Bryman, who I believe is one of the foremost leading individuals on explaining and expounding on narcissism. Uh, and she's got class and she's got style, too. And she don't act crazy. You know, some people, some people do it. They act crazy. <laughs> cray, I say it now. My season's coming to an end. They cray cray. They just all crazy. They, opinionated and crazy you on the other hand got class and everyone that's been on my show has got class so uh i'm not talking about them i'm talking about everybody that's not on my show anyhow so, so, like that. all right uh robin what's up hi how are you <laughs> all righty your turn your turn, my turn. I, yeah. I feel very fortunate to, to do this with these two lovely ladies also um, yeah. hello everybody and thank you paxton for this this is beautiful um paxton actually kicked me off so um <laughs> he got me when i was first started out in clubhouse i'm helping a lot of people i'm a transformation oh. coach helping women thrive after narcissistic abuse um that's what i do uh, i was in a marriage to a narcissist for 20 years didn't realize what it was just thought he wasn't happy <laughs> <laughs> um the last five years though when i figured out what it was I say I would slowly let him go. So when it came time to file for divorce, which I filed in January of 2020, uh, finally went through June of this year. So, um, wow. yeah, that's what I've been doing, focusing on just sharing my story and being there and being vulnerable and transparent for those who need to know they're not alone. Thank you, yeah. Paxton. Hey, you are a spark. Um, some people ignite others. You literally spark others. And there's a big difference. Oh, I'm not going to do it right now. But everybody, if you want to know, look up the definition between the two words. Uh, you are indeed a spark uh, uh, for people. Um, do me a favor, please. Uh, mm -hmm. Introduce uh, and uh, let's get everybody else to introduce themselves. Awesome. I'm, I'm yeah. happy. Thank you very much. And she's humble, too, by the way. Do you notice that? She's very humble, mm -hmm. extremely humble. Um, oh. um, obviously the uh, president is calling you and he needs some advice. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, yes, he hey, you know what? I love that. That was really, no, you could have answered that. That would, no, no. I, I can't if you, you want to answer, that's a first. I love it. I think it's great. Personally. Come on. That's people already calling her. Let's, they're already calling for advice. Hey, you know what? Okay. 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 I hope you didn't skip a, I hope you didn't skip an appointment just to do this show. Cause that might be a client. <laughs> <laughs> client talking to you. Watch, they keep calling back. I'll be in big trouble. Okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you know what? If they keep calling, it's not a problem. Just mute yourself. But what I was going to say, <laughs> I'm just teasing. But um, here we go. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to put some items on the screen. But before I do that, Trisha, could you do me a favor? Uh, yeah. Could you uh, go ahead and talk about some things that are on your mind? And uh, you and uh, Lady K, some things on your mind that you want to either ask uh, uh, Robin uh, or things you want to talk about. Uh, Robin is here as our special guest to give us some yeah. advice. Yeah, super lucky to be able to have you here with us. Um, and I think a big thing for survivors and victims that are stuck um, still with their abuser or have just left is that um, crippling shame and mm -hmm. also fear, um, however long they've been in this 
horrific, I call them situationships because there's nothing real about them. Um, it can be very devastating and almost <clears throat> like learning to walk again or crawl when you finally leave. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk or ask you about the physical effects that it actually does have on someone's brain um, and how, you know, maybe some tips on how to just um, start their healing path, who, who to speak to, who not to speak to, um, because I know that it's, it's really hard. Um, you want to vent and get it out and people just don't understand. And it, that can be very dangerous and re-traumatizing to um, somebody that's just left. So I'll hand that oh. over to you. Oh, thanks. All right. Who's going? Leon? Hi, I'm Leon Walker, retired Navy, 32 years. I was diagnosed many, many years ago. Didn't even realize that I was living that life. Um, I'm an author. I love to help people. I love people. I'm, I'm divorced. I have three children, three adult children. I have three godchildren, not grandchildren, godchildren. I have a dog. I love to exercise, work out, love to laugh. And my biggest thing is helping people get through this narcissistic behavior oh, yeah. relationships. Uh, by telling my truth, telling my, and I, and I know I, I trigger people. I know I don't do it on purpose, <laughs> but I get women say, you son of a, you know, you make my skin crawl. I, I know I don't mean to do that, but now I, I mean, and I tell you, medicine doesn't help. The pills don't help therapy. I've seen three psychiatrists and one psychotherapist and a social worker over my lifetime. Okay. Wow. Pills do not work. But anyway. Okay. Um, I'm here. To, I'm going to continue helping. I never planned to talk about this. I did a video a few months ago and it went viral and it yeah. spooked me because I was like, I didn't know how bad this was. I knew yeah. how bad off I was. I knew that yeah. I didn't love. I couldn't care. I was a cheater, deceitful. I was a liar. Yeah. But I didn't know after I started talking about it, I how bad it was. So I'm here to help people. Awesome. Wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. Over Go ahead, you. Sally. Uh, thanks. Uh, well, it's a a multi-level uh, answer here. <laughs> First of all, you know, this this week, every week I learned so much from my patients. Mm -hmm. This week, when you said the word shame, mm -hmm. I usually hear the word guilt first. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I just, you know, this was like a, a very important thing that I discovered this week in that people say, I feel so guilty. I feel yeah. terrible. I can't do this. I feel guilty. And, and I look at them and I said, no. You feel shame. Mm -hmm. That's what you feel. So, you know, when you when you hear the word guilt, it's 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 better to to look at it that way. Because that's the first that's the turning point, I think, to help yourself. Yes. Um, so your brain. You mean your brain as you're going through this and trying to get out of it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, you know, like I said, there's so many answers to that. You know, first of all you know, very often it has to do with your childhood and how you think. Um, we, we say, you know, the, the narcissist or the sociopath or whom, whomever we're dealing with is delusional, right? Mm -hmm. I think you're, you're delusional too going through mm -hmm. this. Yeah. So there, there's a fog. I'm trying to use different terminology because, you know, it, it does overlap and we don't hear that a lot. We don't hear, oh, yeah. you know, codependent could be delusional or, you know, the person. I agree. Relationship. Yeah. So, you know, you're, you're thinking of this fantasy love affair and, you know, your, your brain is programmed. It's hard to get unprogrammed from that because mm -hmm. when, when you're thinking that way, it feels good. And not thinking that way, you literally think you're going to die because you can't even fathom it's either you feel great.